Hello, my name is Ryan from Buster Beagle 3D. Today I'll be reviewing the Laser Pecker L1 Pro. It's a compact, portable, app-controlled laser sent to me by Laser Pecker, so I might be able to try it out. So how does it work? Can you really have a working laser in such a small package? Well, let's find out. The Laser Pecker L1 Pro came very well packaged in a nice small box and comes with a laser module, a tripod stand, a USB-C cable and plug, as well as a pair of safety goggles, a small wooden ruler, and some test cardstock pieces. This is all you need to get started with the machine. You will also need to download the app on either your Apple or Android device, as this laser only works off of the app using Bluetooth. The Laser Pecker Pro uses a 405 nanometer blue-violet laser with a laser spot that is 0.15 millimeters with a 1.5 watt laser output power. The engraving area of this machine is 100 by 100 millimeters. This little engraver works on things such as paper, wood, cloth, cardboard, food, leather, and other softer materials. It will not work on harder materials such as steel or transparent materials but may work with some plastics when the surfaces are marked with a dry erase markers before you burn. This laser also cannot engrave in white materials as it'll mainly just bounce off the surface. To use the L1 Pro, you have to position the laser 200 millimeters away from the subject that you want to engrave. This is why you are provided with that ruler in the box. The length of the ruler is exactly 200 millimeters so you only need to make sure the lens of the laser is the same distance away from the object you are trying to engrave. This also brings me to one of the best features of this laser. Most other consumer engravers on the market engrave from the top onto a surface facing up. The Laser Pecker L1 Pro can engrave on a surface at any angle. The laser module doesn't move, but a tiny mirror inside of it does, so the laser itself is static. The bottom tripod mount would allow you to engrave both vertically and horizontally and everything in between. As long as the laser is 200 millimeters away from the surface so you can properly focus the laser beam, you can burn in any orientation you want. And since the laser runs off of a 5 volt 1 amp USB-C cable, that means you can also use a power bank to perform your engravings. This truly means you can take this laser to places where other lasers could never go. So this is all great, but how does it actually perform? So I ran a couple of tests on different materials. Uh, one of the first things I did was this cardboard box, uh, and I imprinted a logo on the top of it, and it did a very, very good job of that. Uh, you can see that it generates lots of detail. It came out perfect. Uh, I also was able to engrave in this bamboo spoon. Uh, I also was able to do a couple of coasters, which again turned out very, very nice. This, this machine really works well uh, in wood and paper and things like that. Um, and then testing out not only engraving vertically, but also engraving horizontally, I was able to engrave on this knife block set. Uh, it's, it's really nice to be able to orient this laser however I want so that I can engrave on whatever I want. It worked really, really, really well. Um, I did a couple of pencils. Those also turned out very, very nice. And you can see that you can get detail at very, very small uh, sizes. Um, I was also able to engrave a handle on this spatula. I engraved both sides of it, and that turned out great. Uh, so I wanted to test uh, some other materials as well. So my wife had a purse that was broken and, and bad, so I asked her if I could have it. I cut it into pieces, uh, much to her horror, and, uh, and I was able to make this, this little keychain. Uh, it turned out really, really nice. I think I probably would have changed a few settings, made it a little bit darker, uh, but it still worked. It worked amazingly. Uh, I did also engrave on a white plastic surface, 
So I had this sewing machine, again, not something that you would be able to necessarily engrave easily with traditional lasers. Uh, I had to mark the surface first with a dry erase marker, but then I was able to engrave my logo onto this sewing machine. Uh, and then you just wipe off the dry erase marker afterwards. So the final thing I wanted to kind of go over was the different accessories that you can get with the laser packer. Uh, again, as I listed in the beginning, it comes with a tripod, it comes with a laser. So if that's the only thing that you want to get, that's perfectly fine. It, you will still be able to use this laser, but they also have these other accessories. One of them is this stand. Now what this stand does is it automatically will raise or lower the height based on the surface of the thing that you're trying to engrave. So the laser just sits right on the top and you can press this button on the back and when you press that, that'll do a auto leveling where it sends a laser that's on the, on the stand itself and that will uh, raise or lower that entire platform until it meets that uh, 200 millimeters uh, away from the surface. The other thing that this stand has is it has a fan behind it. So it is blowing some of the air because one of the things you wanna make sure that you're doing is removing the smoke from the burn because if you have too much smoke in the burn and it gets in the way of the laser, then that will prevent the laser from doing a good job of engraving onto the surface. Another additional accessory that you can get um, that doesn't, it doesn't come with the stand, but it's, a, it's another optional accessory, are these laser shield panels. Now these are really nice to be able to put around either the, the adjustable stand or the regular tripod stand. And these, uh, it, you get four of these panels, and what they do is they, each of the ends is magnetic. So these will just snap to each other, and you can place them around the objects that you're engraving on, just to make sure that no one walking around who might not be wearing the glasses uh, can see the laser, because you, you never want to look directly at this or any laser. So that's another nice accessory to have. Another thing that I wanted to bring up about the tripod stand versus maybe something with the automatic stand is that this one actually has a really big tripod on it. So you'll see that this can extend pretty far. So you can fit some, some fairly large objects underneath this. Again, you just need to make sure that whatever you're engraving on is 200 millimeters below the surface of that laser. So right now I was going to go through the app and how the app works on this, but that part of the video took quite a while. So I'm going to break that out into a separate video and you can watch it here. So if you want to see how I actually use the app and how I go through it, just click on the link up here or I'll put it in the video description as well. So now for some of my overall thoughts on this machine. I have to say I actually really like it. I like how small and compact it is. Feel like I can take it anywhere. Um, I think that the optional stand is is a good option for people who uh, want to have that that auto leveling or the auto uh, up and down. I think you can pretty much do the exact same thing with uh, the tripod. Uh, the tripod will also allow you to do things like engraving on this knife block stand where you're engraving horizontally. So I think even if you, if you end up buying the adjustable, the self-adjusting stand, you'll still probably want to, you know, use your tripod quite a bit. The one gripe I have about the stand is that the laser is oriented the opposite way of which you would think that it's going to be oriented. I kind of wish that they had turned it the other way. So uh, if, if you watch the video where I talk about the, the app, and how that works. You have to turn the, the image upside down so that it'll engrave right side up. Um, I love the laser shield that they have. You should still wear the glasses anytime you're using the machine, but having this, and I like the fact that it goes all the way to the ground. On some of my other lasers, it has a shield on the laser, but there's a gap. So if you 
get it at the right angle, you can still see underneath it. So I like how that uh, goes all the way to the floor. The only thing that I wish that this laser was was a little bit more powerful. Uh, it does amazing on wood and paper and other things like that. But it, it you know, it doesn't do like if, if anyone's familiar with the Norton white tile method where you can engrave on tile, uh, some of the other lasers can engrave on stainless steel and things like that. Now, Laser Pecker did come out with a Laser Pecker 2, and that version of the machine is higher power than this one and can engrave on some of those other objects. But if you're gonna be primarily doing things such as wood and paper and, and, and that, um, I think that this is a, is a perfect option. I love the fact that you, this is so portable and can be controlled with a power bank. So there's really nowhere where you can't use this. You can also purchase a travel case that goes along with this. I have purchased the travel case, I haven't gotten it yet, but I think that that's amazing that I can go somewhere, take this thing with me, and engrave on wood and engrave on, on other soft materials just using this, this piece. All right, so now this thing folds very, very small. These are magnetic, like I was saying before, so they just all kind of snap together. So you have this, and then you have your laser module itself. So you can see it, it's, a, it's a tiny little package, but you can do stuff like this, which is, which is really, really cool. So again, I wanted to thank Laser Pecker for sending this one out to me. Um, I'm interested to see what uh, happens with the Laser Pecker 2 and what people are starting to do with that. It seems to be a really cool device, but I'm gonna see what else I can do with this little machine. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. You think I should have done the whole video with these on? Nope.